So Mafia 3 finally arrived and it's been getting torn apart. I mean, if you've seen the critical response online, it's a whole mix of like three star reviews and it's too much action, it's too repetitive, there's just not enough, you know, focus on the story and all that kind of thing. Just, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Games are repetitive, they provide loops and gameplay mechanics. That's why we play them, it's to be enjoyed. We don't have to lose ourselves in a humongous, ever sprawling concoction of experimental possibilities every in time. They're losing the point. I think Mafia 3 brings it back down and it grounds it and it says, look, this is how we make an open world game with fun core mechanics. I mean, the focus on the story is entirely one of the things that elevates it above, I would say, above the likes of Grand Theft Auto 5 or whatever else. Hey, wait, whoa, don't hit dislike just yet. I have a point, okay? I mean, look, at some point, something like Mafia 3 comes out and it's the next big open world crime game. And naturally, the nearest comparison is gonna be something like GTA 5. I mean, there's only really sleeping dogs in the last sort of five years that stands out as being an open world crime game. But in that comparison comes the fact that GTA has become a franchise that just does a million things in a million different directions. And personally, I don't really think it does any of those things incredibly well. It's a jack of all trades. It's a phenomenal jack at all of those trades, but it's not a master of any of them. That's the thing. What Mafia offers you that GTA doesn't is an incredibly enjoyable singular focus on something like combat. And just because it nails that aspect and does it over and over again and you can really get lost in it, I would really think that's a positive. I don't think that's a negative whatsoever. In fact, I would take Mafia's combat and Mafia's approach to combat and combat scenarios over the way that GTA handles it. One of the key areas that Mafia excels is that in the open world, you've got a whole bunch of outposts that you can sort of, you know, roll up to and just decide how you want to infiltrate them right there and then. You can just call in your supply drop and change, you know, what uh, weapons you have on you. You can only hold two, so it kind of forces you to pick and choose and be a bit more tactile, whether you want to be ranged or up close with a knife, sniper rifle, take an assault rifle, whatever, and then go in and clear that place out. It's within that that it provides a really cool and focused element of variation that something like GTA just like doesn't have. It's the best parts of something like Assassin's Creed or Far Cry in that you can just explore this, this huge world and drop into different buildings and different areas, have a, a small dynamic sort of play session and then leave again and try something else. But the combat keeps you hooked, it keeps you going and it keeps you engaged and addicted. At the end of the day, repetition is not a bad thing. If a game does repetition extremely well and it has a whole handful of mechanics that are enjoyable to do, by all means, indulge in them. Yes, there can be variation and experimentation within a certain framework, and Mafia gives you the option to switch up your weapons and switch up your approaches to different scenarios, but it's still really, really fun to just get stuck into that combat. And by comparison, I don't think GTA's gunplay or its combat, especially its hand-to-hand -hand stuff, has been anywhere near as satisfying. So to see so many critics lambast something like Mafia for making a point of perfecting one facet that I think GTA misses out on, I really don't think that's a negative. For as much as everybody talks about Grand Theft Auto being the, you know, the untouchable king of the open world genre, and it very much has earned its place at the top of the pile, we wouldn't even have the genre without GTA 3 back in 2001, I still think there's very much room for improvement, and I think Mafia provides that improvement in a, in a core area that GTA very much lacks. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, Either way, I think it's worth being addressed. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm Scott from Culture.com. I had to get this off my chest, and I'll see you soon.